Hello everyone, Tony here. And in this video, I would like to show you how we can map the input from a Wacom tablet to one of your monitors on a multi-monitor Linux computer. So by default, when you plug this tablet in, um, it's going to map the four corners of the, your Wacom tablet across all of your monitors. So if I switch over to my screen capture, what you will see is that, well, this is my left monitor, so while the left points are fine, this corner of this monitor actually is halfway on the tablet. And the remaining right half of the tablet, you'll see that my cursor is actually on my other monitor. Obviously, this is not what you want if you're just trying to take notes. Like if I try writing like this, it'll be super warped because while the height is the full height, the width is being um, compressed to map it into such a small space. We can easily map this to just one of our displays though. To do this, let's just drop to a bash terminal. This is just a regular terminal. Um, you can use whatever shell client you want. So for this, the easiest way is to do this with X input, which is usually installed. You can also use X at Wacom. So doing this is simple, we just need a couple commands. So first, if you just run X input, and this is just a regular bash terminal I'm using, you will get a list of all of your input devices. Here is everything that can act as a mouse. Here's everything that can act as a keyboard. Um, what we are concerned with is the um, stylus of our Wacom tablet. So you will notice that um, if I list this out, we have two entries for our tablet. We have the Wacom Intuos S2 Pen Stylus and Wacom Intuos S2 Pen Pad. The pad will correspond to the buttons and this thing, um, whereas the stylus will correspond to the cursor and everything on the pen. If you don't want to look up this full list each time, you can just do like a simple grab search for something like stylus. And this way, it'll just print out the one line that matches. And um, so what we need from here is we just need to take a look at the ID. So then we can just use X input to map to one of our displays, um, or we can use X at Wacom. So I'll show the X input method first. So next, you're going to need to get the name of the screen you want to map to. You can easily do this by running X render. Notice how when I run X render, my two screens are detected. The first one is DisplayPort 0, and it's running at 4K. And my second screen is DisplayPort 1 running at 1440p. Just decide which screen you want to map to. Um, I'm ignoring the VGA that I use for like OBS. So all we need to do is we need to go X input, map to output, and then the name of the input we want to take in. So this is what we saw right here. This um, the pen stylus has ID 16, so that's going to be 16. And the screen we want to map it to. So it's going to be DisplayPort dash zero. If I run this, now you will notice that it's mapped properly. I can bring my pen all the way to the right, and that corresponds to the right side of this monitor. I don't have to worry about the mouse, the cursor won't go into that mon on the second monitor. So left corresponds to the left side here, right corresponds to the right side. This is great because this means that I can actually take notes in a, a semi-legible handwriting because it's at a proper proportion. Actually, technically, the tablet is 16 by 10, the monitor is 16 by 9, but I think that's close enough that most people will be fine with it. Um, so in this case, you will see that I can actually write because the top left is the top left, the bottom right is the bottom right of this monitor instead of the full X11 output. Now, there's a second way to go about this as well. If you have X set Wacom installed, you can do this in a very similar way. So you can just go X set Wacom, um, and then it's very similar. You go set, um, and th then you give it the ID. So in this case, we want to map 16. Um, then you go map to output, and let's try display part uh, one this time. Now um, you can see here, you can see that, oh yes, like my cursor is actually not there. Like it's, whoop, goes to the second screen. Um, and I can change it back just to show you that this does in fact work. I will change it back to display port zero. All right, now you will see that once again, it's mapped properly with bottom left, top right, everything's fine the entire input of the tablet has been mapped to just one of my two monitors, which makes it much easier to use. Hopefully this has helped you um, make better use of your Wacom tablet or any other graphics tablet to be able to map it to just one of your monitors so you can use it um, in a normal fashion. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it or subscribing to my channel. You can leave your suggestions or improvements to my commands in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.